Here's why you become more appealing to narcissists and always regret losing you. Everyone. If you're navigating life after dealing with a narcissist, you're in the right place. Whether you've been discarded, reverse discarded, or made the courageous choice to cut off the narcissist in your life, the aftermath is similar. As a chosen empath, you have the power to move forward, heal, and rebuild. You might still feel the sting of pain and betrayal, but brighter days are ahead, and as you heal and grow stronger, you'll shine brighter than ever before. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay connected with our community of survivors. Even after years apart, a narcissist from your past often keeps tabs on you, sometimes resurfacing with unexpected messages. This isn't out of nostalgia or a desire to make amends. It's about tearing you down again. When they see you thriving, they want to drag you back into misery, hoping to keep you broken and stuck in pain. Despite their efforts, they underestimate your strength and resilience. Healing processes vary greatly from person to person. Some may recover more quickly than others, but the race isn't about who finishes first. The ultimate goal is to reach a place where the influence of narcissists no longer holds any sway over you. Isn't that where everyone aims to be? So, always keep that in mind as you're guiding light, continually striving towards that state of indifference. Now, here's what can hinder your healing progress. If you continue to engage with their social media or seek information about them through mutual connections, it keeps you trapped, fixated on them. True healing involves reaching a point where you genuinely couldn't care less about their actions. For some, this may seem like a distant goal, while others may have already attained it. However, achieving that state of indifference is a significant milestone on your path to recovery. Narcissistic behavior often follows a predictable pattern. One moment, they may diminish your worth, only to uplift you in the next. Why the change? It's because their attempts to replace you have failed, highlighting your value once more. However, it's crucial not to linger in pain and vulnerability. Staying stuck in these emotions prevents you from shining at your fullest potential. The ultimate goal is to regain your strength and emit positivity. It's important to clarify that advocating for indifference doesn't mean considering a return to the relationship. Quite the opposite. The goal is to reach a point where their actions and presence no longer affect you emotionally. Achieving indifference entails no longer feeling attachment or longing for them. This state of emotional detachment is the ultimate objective. Let's be real here. Whether they discarded you or not, once you're out of their reach, you'll appear as a shining star to the narcissist. They can't handle having you around, but they can't bear the thought of losing you either. It's a classic case of wanting what they can't have. When you're the one they couldn't manipulate back into their life, suddenly you become even more attractive to them. They reminisce about the times when you were genuine, loving, and caring. And trust me, it eats away at them. They regret letting someone like you slip away. And this isn't limited to romantic relationships. It could apply to a friend, family member, or coworker, anyone who turned toxic or left you hanging. Deep down, they know they're the issue. They know their behavior makes them difficult to be around. As time progresses and your light shines brighter, you begin to heal and discover your purpose. It's all part of your journey towards recovery. I've talked about this before, how people find what they're passionate about, whether it's writing, creating YouTube content, making music, or engaging in art. I've spoken with many survivors of narcissistic abuse, and they've immersed themselves in their passions. And you know what? This makes you even more appealing because you're thriving independently of them. They're probably infuriated seeing you succeed without their toxic influence. Let's face it, narcissists excel at destruction. Everything they touch seems to crumble. But that's not you. You're a nurturer. You take your talents, even those you didn't know you had, and cultivate them. You evolve, ascend, and grow. Healing involves self-care and filling yourself with love, essential for personal growth. Remember to prioritize self-love, especially after dealing with a narcissist. Taking care of yourself is crucial. And here's something to remember. You actually become more desirable to them once you're beyond their reach.
It may not seem that way initially, especially after a painful breakup or being cut off by them. But narcissists are masters of illusion. They can distort reality. In truth, they yearn for you. As time passes and you're no longer in their life, they begin to miss you. You know the saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder? It applies here too. The more time and distance between you, the more they long for you. All the issues and complaints that seemed monumental during the breakup or separation gradually diminish, and you become increasingly significant to them. So while they appeared significant then, their importance wanes over time. Meanwhile, you rise above it all. Isn't it strange how they operate? But here's the truth. None of you should desire their return. However, I understand if you hope for some validation, perhaps through a Hoover attempt. It's probable that the narcissist from your past may try to reel you back in. So it's important to remain strong. When it happens, may you have the insight to see through it and resist getting entangled in their drama again. There's a significant secret about narcissists, something they wouldn't want anyone to discover. You can explore more about that in another video. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Peace out.